Um, so yes, thank you for that question. Um, I, when I think about a mentor in my life, um, I've had you know a lot of great opportunities to work with some really fabulous people, but the one that springs to my mind the first um, is Joseph Rella. Um, he was uh, somebody who I considered to be just truly a visionary for education. Um, and I happened upon working with him when I started working at the Kamsawag School District. Uh, this was about 13 years ago. Uh, Joe at the time was our deputy superintendent and then became our superintendent. And he just really changed my outlook on what leadership was and what it means to really run a school system. Um, I was quite young then. I was uh, about 29 years old when I first started. And as in, you know, any new administrator, just a couple of years in, you're always worried about following the rules, making sure that you're doing everything just so, the way that the state's asking you to. Um, you know, you're just a little bit tightly wound. Um, and when I met Joe, he just changed that all for me. Um, he just was somebody who just naturally knew how to lead. He was a salt of the earth type of person, married for years, four boys, had no heirs, no ego. And one of the first problems that I had when I first started there, I just was having a tough time trying to wrangle in the high school and trying to figure out my next steps in terms of how I was gonna be rolling something out. And I wanna say it was something around special education, maybe in the inclusion classrooms. And I came to his office. I said, you know, Joe, I'm just, I'm, I'm struggling. I, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. I know I don't have a lot of secondary experience. Maybe that's why. And he just stopped me in my tracks and said, Aaron, never let anybody make you feel less than. I think you're great, you are great, or you wouldn't be here. And you just work hard and you keep going. And all people really care about is that you know them, you make connections with them, and that you care about what you're asking them to do. And I'll never forget that. It's something that I've always stuck with me. I've always um, worked towards no matter what I'm doing. And when I first came to Sachem, um, you know, I, I was very excited. And Sachem is a much larger school district than where I came from in Kamsawag. It's about 13,000 students as opposed to 3,000. And the new superintendent I started working for, uh, he called up Joe and he said, Joe, you know, how do you think, uh, how do you think Aaron's going to do? I mean, she, she seems great, but it's a much larger school district. How do you think she's going to transition in here? And he started laughing and he said, well, Ken, where did you come from? Oh, well, yeah, you know, I came from blah, blah, blah. Well, how big was your school district? Well, it was about 4,000. Okay, well, how did you transition? All right, Joe, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. And that's just how he was. He just was simple. He always had a great story to tell. He just had just the right antidote to never make you feel like no matter what problems were going on, no matter what was happening in the school system, that we got this. We have enough knowledge. Uh, knowledge is in the room. The people that you've hired, you gotta believe in. Um, and I think when we talk later on about where Sachem is in terms of our reentry planning, I always think, because um, unfortunately Dr. Rella did pass away, Joe passed away last year, um, but I often think if I could pick up that phone and say, you know, Joe, how would you be thinking about this? Um, I, I, you know, I, I miss that. I miss those opportunities because, you know, he really did transform me as a leader and uh, that will always stick with me. So thanks for asking that question.